Good morning and welcome to worship on this glorious Lord's Day. It's absolutely beautiful outside. I'd like to welcome all of you to worship. Um, my name is Shelby Wills, in case you don't know me, but I don't see any visitors here, so I, I think you all probably know me. Uh, on behalf of the congregation, I'd like to say a special word of welcome to everyone, uh, not just those of you here in the sanctuary, but those who will be viewing the service um, later today on YouTube. We're glad that everyone can take part. We ask that everyone sign the red friendship register at the end of the pew. Um, if you're a first time visitor, although like I said, I don't think we have any, we need your address as well as your name. I'm sure by now you've noticed that uh, we're missing a very important individual here in the chancel area this morning. Uh, there's no one sitting over there. Um, that's because our pastor, Don Lagan, is in Charlottesville today to serve on the commission to ordain Rachel Sutton. Rachel, who grew up in our congregation, has accepted the call to be covenant pastor for families at First Presbyterian Church in Charlottesville. And she will be ordained as a minister of word and sacrament this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Everyone is invited if, if you are able to go. It's an exciting time for Rachel and her family, and it's an exciting time for all of us, too, because she is part of us. In Don's absence today, you are actually going to be providing the message as we participate in a congregational hymn sing with some brief verses of scripture in between the hymns. So be thinking about some of your favorite hymns for later in the service. When we get to that point, um, we will remain seated and we'll sing the first and last verse of each hymn that you select. I want to express a uh, special appreciation to Kathy Hollinsworth, who is playing the piano for us today and leading the children's time. And I also want to thank Elmer Kinsey, who is providing our special music for today. So thanks to, to both of you for your assistance. I'm going to trust you to read the announcements in today's bulletin, but I do want to remind you that today is the second Sunday of the month, meaning that we receive the two cents a meal hunger offering along with our regular offering today. The only other thing that I will mention from the announcements is to please keep all of the individuals on the prayer list in your personal thoughts and prayers, and we will include them in our corporate prayers a little later in the service. Are there any announcements or prayer concerns from anyone here? Okay, well, if not, then a warm welcome again to everyone. Now, during the time of the prelude, let us prepare our hearts and minds as we center ourselves for worship.
Sing to God. Sing praises to God's name. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. May the name of God be praised forever and ever. Come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us worship God.
The mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. May the God of mercy, who forgives all our sins, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen.
thanks to both Kathy and to Elworth um, for, for that. That's an inspirational, inspirational, inspirational <laughs> type of thing to do. So, okay, right, right on the spur of the minute, you were good at that. So. Please pray with me. Lord, open our hearts and minds by the power of your Holy Spirit that as the scripture is read and your word is proclaimed through singing, we may hear that joy, what you say to us today. We will hear with joy what you say to us today. Amen. You know, references to music and singing can be found throughout the Bible. And some of my favorite scriptures that deal with music and singing are found in the book of Psalms. There are so many references and so many different versions or translations of the Bible that I had a difficult time deciding which ones I wanted to use today, but I finally narrowed down the list. Our main scripture reading today is Psalm 100. Listen for God's word to you. Sing to the Lord, all the world. Worship the Lord with joy. Come before him with happy songs. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people. We are his flock. Enter the temple gates with thanksgiving. Go into the courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise him. The Lord is good. His love is eternal and his faithfulness lasts forever. Now, it's time for you to help provide today's message. We're going to sing six hymns of your choice, the first and last verse of each one, and after each hymn, I'll share a few verses of scripture from various psalms that deal with singing or music. We will remain seated as we sing. So, who is first? Sue. 485. 485. To God be the glory. The binder is being difficult up here, the one that's used with the piano.
92, verses 1 through 4. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands, I sing for joy. And that comes from the English Standard Translation of the Bible. Okay, the next hymn selection. Mary. 302. 302. I dance in the morning. Three o two. I danced in the morning.
passage is Psalm 98, verses 1 through 6. Sing a new song to the Lord. He has worked miracles, and with his own powerful arm, he has won the victory. The Lord has shown the nations that he has the power to save and to bring justice. God has been faithful in his love for Israel, and his saving power is seen everywhere on earth. Tell everyone on this earth to sing happy songs in praise of the Lord. Make music for him on harps. Play beautiful melodies. Sound the trumpets and horns and celebrate with joyful songs for our Lord and King. That is from the contemporary English version of the Bible. Okay, next one. Ellen? Three thirty-nine. Be down my vision. 